excited to have Tony Golan back in the studio. Great to see you. Thank you. I'm so happy to be back. We're matching. We are. And we're both tan. We, we worked it out which because or? we talked in the morning. We what are you going to wear, Nikki? Yes. Yeah, we uh, do I'm that. I'm going to go gray, we? basic gray. And <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So I just match. I just went okay, along with you. Look better you than me, though. No, no, no. I think you look better. The last time you were here, uh -huh. we were talking about scandal. We were talking about um, whether or not you had met President Obama. And I think you had right. just been to the White House Correspondents' Dinner. For the first time, and I yes. hadn't met him that and time. Now, I was disappointed. But da, da, this da, year, da, da, da. You met, you met him. I, I know did, this yeah. because what did he say to you when you walked up? He addressed you as. Yeah, it was. It was. It was right. He, he said, uh, "Hello, Mr. President." <laughs> That's I, I didn't know what to say, so I said, "Hello, Mr. President." <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, so the divide. Mm -hmm. Did I read that this the the concept of the show? I think it was kind of out there. But that you and the the writer, I want to get his name right, Richard Lev Lev Ravenas? Richard Ravenes. Richard Ravenes, yep. Richard mm -hmm. Ravenes. Um, the show was conceived over a bottle of bourbon or something? It was, yeah. Really? Should we get into what the show's yeah. about? Yeah. Yeah, so The Divide... I mean, you um, created the show. This I is, did, yeah. so I can tell you. Hopefully I'll be articulate. Um, the Divide centers on uh, two central characters. The first African-American DA of Philadelphia, who made his career on a big capital murder case we meet him 12 years later when one of the two guys is about to be executed. A young woman, our other main character, is a, an intern, just got out of law school and is not even a lawyer yet. She's an intern at the Innocence Initiative, we're calling it, but it's based on the Real Life Innocence Project, who uncovers a piece of evidence that calls this execution into question. And she sort of pulls a thread on this case that starts to unravel yeah. this very high-profile murder case. And Kelsey's blood and skin were found underneath them, which meant she'd scratched him. Is not a mark on him. Why didn't the defense find these in discovery? You being the creator of the show, mm -hmm. I mean, you've, you wear a lot of hats in Hollywood. Yeah. And I know you've, I think that we talked about this the last time. You said if you had to choose directing or acting, you would actually choose directing. I, mean, I probably would have had to choose, yeah. Um, and just, you, I love that you, while well, you, you could have put yourself in the show. I didn't. Yeah, no, you I didn't did want it. to. I really, I, you know, I mean, I say I would choose directing, but it would be very painful to give yeah. up acting. I really love doing I think both. The fans but, would be really unhappy too. Well, thanks. Um, but uh, you know, directing, you're just so central in the storytelling, and you get to interact with so many different creative departments. It's it's pretty thrilling. And this is my first time, you know, co-creating and executive producing a TV series, which is just, uh, it's amazing because we, you know, Richard and I kind of make it up as we go along, over bourbon. which is daunting, over but a fine over bourbon, bourbon and as, as the show went on, many, many classes of bourbon were required because it's not easy doing it, but it was a thrilling experience and we're really proud of the result. I'm really excited for audiences to see The Divide. The cast is unreal. Obviously, I want to ask what's coming up in Scandal, anything you can let us know. I have no clue. You don't know? I don't know. Well, I know I you never can, know. You you can know reveal that. one thing. That I read I that Carrie Washington, because you both have curly hair, gave mm -hmm. you a wonder hair product. Some hair product. She shared like a tip with you or something, a beauty. Am no. I making this up? Carolyn makes fun of me. She would never share a beauty tip with me. <laughs> um, no, Does she I did. Make There's fun a of you? cool, a good hair product. Um, uh, that that, that uh, they I found on Scandal that they use on me. That's quite good. But Carrie didn't. No. She didn't give it to you? Well, what's the no. hair product and what does she make fun of you? What? For? So I'll be, I better be highly paid if I say this. <laughs> um, it's this Italian product called, uh, a company called Alpha Parf, and it's called, it's like matte paste or something, and it works good on, well on curly hair, which I have. Thanks so. for sharing that beauty tip. And what is Carrie? Sony's beauty tip. <laughs> 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 and what is Carrie tease you? She does tease you. Every, right? constantly. Read constantly. The... I love her. We love, I love it. It's great. It keeps me keeps me humble <laughs> on this set of scandal. So what you can tease is there will be another season. <laughs> there will be another season. And God, we left Fitz in such an awful, wonderful place at the end of season three. But literally, we have no, I have no yeah. clue where it's going to be. And I don't want to know. It's so fun to be surprised along with the audience. Yeah. And I know Shonda, she sort of she sort of took you through that thing at the end of the season where it's like, oh, do I want to be on his side? Do exactly. I want to be on his Wasn't side? Exactly. Wasn't that brilliant? I mean, yeah. literally, up until a few episodes before the end, I was getting almost hate mail or hate tweets from people going, <laughs> I'm over Fitz. Like, he's a whiny, neg I don't, he's just too dark. They're I letting can't. you know. Oh, yeah. And they tell me, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I still love him. But, uh, and then she somehow, like, boomerangs it. And then those same people are going, oh, my God, I love him. I'm so, my heart breaks for him. And we want him to be reelected and have, you know, Olivia back. And 
And uh, then I lost my son. Oh my God. Listen, fans, you can't do this to Tony. You can't send him yes, a tweet. Yes, you can. That's not nice. You've got to be on his <laughs> to the team, the side, the whole way through. Well, it's always like a warning. I'm just yeah. warning you. I'm almost over fans. <laughs> or I'm now Team Jake. So Scott Foley and I were at the White House Correspondents Dinner together and we're hanging out and like fans come up and some people would come up and sort of push Scott away and go, I'm sorry, I'm Team Fitz, and then they want to do and then other people would shove me out of the way and say, I want a picture with Scott because I like Jake, you know. Be like, cool. Has anybody made the people t-shirts yet? They have, haven't they? But possibly I've not seen yeah. them. But. You guys should wear each other's. We should, and you know we would yeah. actually. And put the hair paint. That's on. a good idea. I think I might make those t-shirts. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. It was so good to Great see you. Great seeing you again. Always. Well, call me tomorrow and I'll tell you what color I'm wearing. All right, good. And we yeah. can just coordinate on yeah. a daily basis. We can take turns.